Have you ever had problems rendering out path trace images in Unreal Engine, running out of VRAM, or just the scene crashing altogether and you not knowing why? Well, I'm going to show you in this video quickly how to fix that. So if you go to Tools, Audit, Statistics, I can click on the actor, I can click on the actual texture itself, and then I can set the max in-game size right here. So you can click on your config, and what we want to look at is Path Tracer. Uh, everything here is going to be normal where you're going to use EXR. I'm going to set it to WAA for compression and then down in the anti alias in set settings. I'm going to go 6432, which will give us 2048 overall samples. So you multiply these numbers together. The reason why I have these uh, temporal samples and spatial samples high is if you had 1024 in your spatial samples and two in your temporal samples to equal 2048, uh, it's going to look like your computer's hitching. Like it's going to full stop, just quit. It's going to look like that. But if you set the temporal samples and the spatial samples to be sort of even, you're going to see that number kind of slowly go up as it's rendering. So it's going to feel like your computer's actually responsive. And then I'm going to override the anti-aliasing. I'm going to set it to none. I'm going to render my warm-up frames and set those to 300 so I can actually see my foliage load into the viewport. And then I'm going to go into camera and I'm going to set it to frame close because I actually have even numbers of samples here. And then in my console variables, I'm going to go ahead and like we did in the last video, I'm going to go ahead and set reference enable clouds to one and cloud map enable to zero so that we get heterogeneous volumetric clouds rendering in our scene. And then my nanite mode is going to be set to one so that I accurately render the geometry with path tracing in nanite. And then I'm going to set my max triangles to render to an obnoxiously large number <laughs> like here I have it set to just an insane number so that I'm not actually clipping the triangles out of my foliage and then my grass dot cold distance scale is set to four now this is super important uh, this will render four times uh, the distance of it in normal play mode and what this is going to allow me to do is render a very large distance of foliage but it's not going to eat up my vram okay and then in game overrides i'm going to actually turn off flush grass streaming so and by following all these steps you can render an image that's super detailed like you see above without running out of vram i hope this helps 